Yeah, you can see an old piece of mining equipment over there. Another moose. Well, on our third morning of camping, we got up and wanted to take a shower, and you guys know I had fixed this pipe recently, and it broke right there. It didn't break, it just, I think from driving all across all the construction, it was so rough, it just vibrated the hell out of it. And it came undone, so we got up this morning, wanted to take a shower, we turned on the water, I was like, why isn't it running? Next thing you know, it's gushing out the underside of the RV. Everything's soaking wet. So, you know how it is. You get out on the open road and things happen. Just deal with them and fix them. So we're letting that set up. And then we're going to try the water. Hopefully it'll work. Hey guys, day three. And uh, we're camped out at this awesome valley where they have the Arctic Man competition every year and it has been raining all morning and uh, yesterday all the streams were flooding down the middle of the road and uh, so we're going to get out of here before it gets too swampy so let's see if we can make it to the main road here and we were waiting for the rain to stop because my windshield wipers quit working but got them fixed Summit Lake up there. Oh, look at the moose running across the. Get a baby. Did you see him running? We'll get another view of them or not. See, that's why I didn't want to go out riding bikes like that. Yeah. Well, we just came out this road down here, hit the main road, and come up to this. This is the Richardson Highway Monument. And we were camped way back there by that glacier. Wilds Preston Richard, Brigadier General, United States Army, Alaska Pioneer Road Builder, erected by friends in appreciation of service in Alaska in 1932. Really cool. And then there's another monument over here. Somebody took this sign. <laughs> Used to be a big sign there. And this is another interesting thing, Gold Rush Women. Women sought gold and other opportunities offered by the North. Isabel Pass is named for Isabel Barnett, who crossed it in March 1902. On her way from Fairbanks to Valdez, she and her husband, E.T. Barnett, were the founders of Fairbanks. There's a couple other stories here. Ethel Berry, Margaret Mayo, Nellie Cashman. Anyways, really cool sign dedicated to the women of the gold rush. What a better backdrop. Well, we turned and went out towards this state recreation site. It's Fielding Lake State Recreation Site. And it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot here. There's some cabins over there along the lake. Well, not much here, so we're going to go ahead and move on. So we're trying to make this big loop. There's a camper. Everybody's out there fishing.
windshield wipers stopped working again. And, uh, hey mom, see way up there? That's where I went metal detecting the very first time looking for gold nuggets, way up there. And I walked up on a grizzly bear, way up there. Anyways, look how big these mountains are. Fairbanks, 155 miles and Delta Junction, 60. my windshield wipers started working again. I don't know why they're off and on like that, but it's kind of annoying when it's pouring the rain down. We'll have to look at them here. Uh, that one lake and came about 30 miles up the road. We're 50 miles outside of Delta right now and we stopped at the Donnelly Creek campground. And they say there's a stream out here so I want to go see. I'm trying to find a stream that I can put my kayak in, my whitewater kayak, and do a little creaking. So let's see here. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful view. And there's the family walking the dog. Oh, look at here. Now the water looks low, but it looks doable. Heck yeah. Through this huge valley. The wind is howling. I'm just checking out this little creek. I think I'm going to get my kayak put in and just play around. Something to do. Check out this rock. All the layers of quartz running through there. Spot 12, Alaska Motorhome. 3rd day vacation. This is how I've been lighting the grill. ready to make some steaks and we'll take my kayak down to the creek on where the bag is got a squirrel getting in our trash he already tried to carry out that whole ear of cord So far he took a potato, and this is the second year of corn he's made. Wait, should I follow?